had the opportunity to meet Dr. Mohamed Yonis, who uh, is a Nobel Prize winner. He actually pioneered the whole idea of microfinance, of making micro loans uh, to women in his home country of Pakistan. Um, it sparked an entrepreneurial revolution there. What it showed, and I think people all over the world have woken up, is that a tiny amount of money can have an outsized impact. So the microgrants were set up um, just about a year ago now in partnerships with a really wonderful national network called Cities of Service, which does a lot of work across the country to really think about impact volunteerism and community engagement. So they helped us create this microgrant process that was really organized around taking findings from our well-being index and putting out a challenge to the community, give us your best ideas your short ideas that can happen in a relatively quick amount of time for $500. And if you give us your idea and we select you to do it, you'll, you'll make it happen and we'll help promote it. We'll connect you with other people and we'll help tell your story. The title of my microgram project was called Dessert in Dialogue. The purpose of my project was to bring together community through food and to develop first ever Pico community recipe book called The Taste of Pico. The recipe project was really amazing to see all of the different types of uh, recipes people had. All of my recipes included a story. Um, hearing about the stories along with the recipe was really amazing. And then to see a published piece of work to be submitted to the community was really amazing also. So when I seen this ad in the paper for the microgrant, I felt it was a great opportunity and I applied for it thinking that I can teach people how to uh, make jewelry, sell jewelry in the stores and get a business license and do the same thing I did. You know, I started with like three students and little by little it accumulated and the fact that it, I maintained it, that it, they were willing to come back every Wednesday meant a lot to me. The name of my program was My Community Cleanup. And what it basically was about was my community members coming together to clean up this big park. The process was first, you know, you have to sign in and check in. Then you would take a snack and then get all your cleaning supplies. And then we placed pink kind of flags everywhere. We kind of saw trash. And you would go to those pink flags, clean the trash there, and then take out the flag and just keep moving. It was amazing success. We picked up about a thousand pounds of trash. My role was, um, I wasn't like sitting back, you know, I'm not doing any work. I was like being one of the people that were volunteering. It was really fun picking up trash. El impacto para mí en la experiencia para el microgram que me fue ofrecido fue darme la oportunidad de participar en el gran evento que la ciudad de Santa Monica hace una vez al año. Con esto pude encontrar nuevas personas y exhibir mis productos, que es lo más importante para mí para que las otras personas, niños y diferentes edades conozcan la, la cultura de Oaxaca. Over the time I've been living in Santa Monica for the last 24, 25 years, I've seen all those small business uh, disappearing from the city. Supporting a small business can come in different packages and presentations. Mine, it was this more um, Put it this way, humanistic way to support the business by approaching the owners and go and tell their story, their passion, how they are connected to the business and so the business is connected to the community, is connected to the city actually. It's a pop-up beauty supply store slash parlor. It's the first black Creole owned beauty supply store in Santa Monica. I'm very proud of that, and for the microgrant to be there, such a positive force, um, always having a listening ear, and that cares about the citizens and the community to want to expand for all people because it's such a diverse community, and we all um, live here together, we interact with each other, and so it's a wonderful experience. 
Well, this micro grant that we applied for was for a specific, what we call a live experience, which is essentially experiential teaching. So we go in front of a group. In this case, we had a, a lesson, a live experience that we call Building Humble Confidence. And specifically, we like to teach financial literacy alongside that. So teaching kids the basics of sort of how to save money, what it takes to start a business, uh, how these things, again, can not only help their lives, but help their community. And to be able to work directly within the school system with these kids, not only empowering for me personally, it sort of inspired me to say, hey, these sort of collaborations, this sort of like teamwork with, between cities and individuals, students, organizations can really work and uh, can really have a positive impact. So as I really look back on this journey of the last year with microgrants, it's interesting to think about where we started and where we are now. I think some of our original goals were really around how can we find some of the best ideas in the community to move the needle on community well-being. And we've certainly got some great examples of that and we've done that. Beyond that, I don't think that we really went into this realizing how much it would change us how much it could help us learn about our community. So I would say one of the wonderful opportunities of working um, and, and helping to lead the Office of Civic Well-Being is being shaped by the very community that we're here to support, partner with, and really help thrive. In the future, I would use um, my experience with the microgrant to share with other members in the community, hoping that they would take their great ideas and um, take a chance, you know, and try to pursue their dreams through the microgrant. I recommend this program for anybody who has a good idea to bring the community together. Y a mí me gustaría comunicar a las personas que no saben del, del programa que se incluyan y que sean um, para que participen y que haya otra diversidad de personas para que nosotros los conozcamos. So whatever your message is, whatever your uh, interest or offering is, there's definitely a lot of ways for you to help others with it and for others to help you. And I think they're going to learn about project management, budget management. They're going to learn about their community, they're going to learn about how the city works, they're going to learn how to network, and I think those are really important. Even if they don't win, they are winning. I know one thing for microgrants, every single idea counts. All you got to do is land it on a piece of paper, bring it to the city, and you have a really good chance to get a microgrant. Just do it. Do it.